Son, Holy Spirit, good day, good day, everyone. Holy Spirit, come now. Welcome, everybody. Come on in, guys. Welcome to Grace Ministries USA, guys. My name is Ryan, and I am so grateful that you are with us today. I'm so grateful that you're watching. If we said something that added value to your life, please consider giving us a thumbs up, a subscribe, guys. Help us share the channel. We're trying to get God's word out to as many people as we can. Guys, we are in the fight of our lives, and we need Jesus more now than ever, and we need your help more than ever to get God's word out before it is too late. Yes, there will be a point of no return, guys. There is a point of no return. We got work to do, so we're not there yet. Thank God that we're still here. We still get to do work. Today's devotional, all who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for their sins will be exposed, John 3, 20, guys. In this age of advancing technology, it seems as though people are more superstitious than ever. So many people today are interested in supernatural phenomena. From astrology we see to psychic hotlines, they grab at whatever is offered, wanting desperately to see something supernatural, guys something powerful, something spiritual. Only Jesus can provide this. People want to believe there is a dimension of life other than the physical existence, right? Other than the physical realm. And they have an interest in just about anything except for the truth of the word of God. Wherever it comes from, it's intriguing as long as it doesn't come from the Bible, right? If it comes from the pages of Scripture, oh, no, 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 no. Then they don't want to hear it. They don't want to talk about it. And Jesus talks about this. He, he pointed out the reason people come to the, 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 the truth is because, um, I'm sorry, he points out the reason that people cannot come to the truth cannot and will not because their deeds are evil and they don't want to be exposed that is john 3 19 through 20 they don't want to be exposed it isn't because people are necessarily confused or because they are hypocrites in the church there are hypocrites in the church this does exist rather it's because they don't want to change the way they're living i can relate to this i was doing this for a long time Matthew's gospel tells us that a group of religious leaders approached Jesus looking for a miraculous sign. Jesus replied, Only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. We just studied Jonah in our Bible study. What an amazing book. It's only four chapters, but wow. For as Jonah was in the belly of the great fish for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and for three nights. The people of Nineveh will stand up against this generation on Judgment Day, guys, and condemn it. For they repented of their sins at the preaching of Jonah. Now, someone greater than Jonah is here. That'd be Jesus. But you refuse to repent. Matthew 12, 39 through 41. In the church today, there's a growing interest and fascination with this supernatural phenomena. Believers want an experience with God and there is, there, there, there really is nothing wrong with that. We see that across the church, these extravagant concerts, and that's great to encounter God, but we must be careful. We cannot seek experience at any cost. Experience must always be subservient to the truth that is God's word. It must always be ordered under what is right. We cannot say something is true because we've experienced it. Rather, we should say we know something is true because we find it in Scripture, guys. Scripture 
verifies our lived experience. We back it up with scripture. However, some people seek experience for the sake of it, wanted to have what they think is a touch from God. Self-proclaimed prophets give out their messages and they proclaim their visions and they're rarely held accountable. We see this all over the place right now. They are never held accountable. Preaching this non-religious garbage, not Jesus' mighty word, the Bible. We don't want to limit God through unbelief because we want him to do his miracles in our lives. But on the other hand, we cannot simply believe every so-called prophet either. Interestingly, in the book of Acts, the apostles never announced miracles ahead of time. We don't read of the early church distributing flyers for upcoming signs and wonders, right? <laughs> Getting on their Twitter page. Hey, a miracle is about to take place. <laughs> That's because their focus wasn't on miracles. They left the miracles up to the Holy Spirit. Rather, their focus was on making videos Proclaiming God's mighty word, telling people about Jesus and the love of Jesus Christ, not religion, not religious leaders, not these big name Christian phenomenons that are millionaires but do nothing except talk, right? Proclaiming the word of God, right? So... My prayer for us this, this week, guys, as we go about our week, I pray that God reveals to us the areas that we may have looked prior and we may have understood maybe or listened to some half-truth about Scripture. Are we compromised in some way? Oh, we, I don't know people compromise in their own way individually i'm not going to really get into that but let's just say compromise in general right i pray that god shows us those areas of our lives that we can do better in and not in a way that is judgmental and hypocritical and condemning because that is not who god is rather god is love God is peace God is joy hope kindness goodness gentleness all the days of our lives that is what I pray for you for your life specifically as you go about your week God bless you he loves you he sent me to tell you that we're gonna be okay and he wants you to know how much he loves you specifically you watching if we've added value in any way, please give us a thumbs up or a subscribe. Help us grow the channel, guys. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Be great.